Hey guys, Adam J. Brass here, and I'm going to be showing you today how to set up a Paramix 10 session. So, let's get to it. I've got Paramix open in the background here, and I'm going to go ahead and open that. And as you can see, I have no projects open here, just the uh, Virtual Studio open. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project, and that's going to be Project New. And my first dialog box that I have here is what type of pro project. I don't have any hardware connected, so you can see there's some things grayed out here. But I'm going to start with a very simple project, an editing project. And I can do up to 192K here. Um, if you have a converter that can do up to 384K PCM, you can do that. But let's just start off with a 96K project. And I'm going to go ahead and um, tell it to do 32-bit. Paramix and Merging recommend 32-bit in their software. Okay, so I'm going to say 96K, 32-bit, and I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And it's going to ask me to set up a pro new project workspace. So I'm going to click Yes, and I'm going to call it Adam Project 96K. And I've already uh, set my project and media location to my D drive, which is a solid-state drive um, that's a... Uh, a media drive that's not my applications drive. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And now it's asking me what I want to do for the mixer. Do I want to use a default mixer? Do I want to use a mixer wizard or use a preset? I'm going to go ahead and use a mixer wizard because that's how you set up your own mixer. So I'm going to say Finish. And now I'm going to be prompted for my configuration wizard. So I'm going to say Next. And this tells you, hey, how many buses do you want to create? Well, for this video, I'm going to create one stereo bus. And that's a mixing bus. So that's a stereo mixing bus. I'm not going to create any more buses. I'll go over that, uh, the different types of buses uh, in another tutorial video. But for this video, I'm just going to do one stereo bus. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Then I'm going to set up however many strips I need. Now, strips, tracks, they call them strips in Paramix. So let's say you need 16 uh, mono strips. And that's going to assign the audio tracks to the mixer strips. Very important part. So that's going to hit next. And then we have connect automatically as many inputs and outputs as possible. So if you have a merging interface with many cards in it, um, the IOs will connect to as many channels as possible. Very easy way to connect your merging IOs. I don't have any uh, merging IOs connected now, but I'm, I'm assuming it's going to connect my ASIO driver as many IOs as there are. So I'm going to say yes, finish, and Paramix is going to do its thing and it's going to create what I asked it to create. So it, it, go, it went ahead and created 16 uh, tracks in one mix bus. It went ahead and it created 16 mono tracks here. And to see them all, you can, you can hit the A button there, these little helpful view uh, windows. So you can see that it's routed um, all of my channels. I'm gonna, if I hit signal flow mode and I click on my bus, it shows me what's routed and what's not uh, with a helpful color. So that's a kind of a cool feature. Uh, Paramix defaults to the 3D panner, but I like the regular panner, so I'm going to go ahead and change that to the standard. Um, and you can see down here is where the ASIO driver was connected. It only connected four channels. That's all I have. Uh, connected right now using my ASIO for All app. And actually I had to disable the mic array in my laptop so that it would work with the video because Paramix was taking control of it. So that's kind of a cool um, setup. I can show you how that works in another video. At any rate, we have um, our mixer solution here and we can go ahead and minimize that uh, or exit out. And as you can see, this is the shortcut Oops, wrong button. This is the shortcut to the mixer window right here. Um, so we have everything we need set up. We just want to make sure that we're in the right spot. So we hit media management, and you can see where your project is labeled, and the media files uh, folder is where all your audio files are going to be stored. So that's a little bit about how to create tracks, mixer, uh, setup, and where your project is going to be saved and, and stored. So once you've um, done all that, you may want to save it because it isn't saved yet. Uh, that's right, it's only set up. So it, now once you've set up your project, it asks you to, you, you need to save it manually. So you go ahead and 
save that manually and you're off and running. There are some more advanced settings we're going to get into, but for right now, that is the basic way to create a session with tracks and a mixer. Well, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next one. Cheers.